Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our words are going to come from Proverbs chapter 25. And I want to just take a moment and read some verses here together. Actually, we're going to start by reading one verse and we'll read down further after that point. So Proverbs chapter 25, and if you would, pick it up at verse 2 with me if you would. Uh, of course, Solomon writing to us, right, uh, says these words to us in Proverbs chapter 2. He says, it is a glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Now, what I love about this passage right here, in this verse in particular, is really this is a challenge to each one of us. We are kings and priests, right? We're told that by the Lord. He's telling us right here, brothers and sisters, that we are called to search things out. But where do we search it out? In our own wisdom? In our own understanding? In our own uh, feelings, emotions, whatever the case may be? No, we're supposed to search it out in the things where God concealed it. Well, I mean, where does he write it? Where did he put it? He hid it there in his word. The truth is in his word. So we're challenged to get into the word and search it out. Find out for yourself. Why do you believe what you believe? Why do you stand where you stand? Is it because this guy had a good argument and convinced you? Or that this guy had a better argument and convinced you? Or because if honestly, if that's the case, you'd be double-minded, tossed to and fro all the time never being stable. Well, yeah, but if I tell this guy the truth of what the Bible says, then he might not like me. That's okay. We're not here to necessarily win friends and influence people, contrary to popular belief. We're here to glorify God. That's why we search out those matters. And I love how he says, it's the, that it says there, that it's the honor of kings. In other words, you are honored enough now in the eyes of God to have his word and to be able to search these things out. That's how honored you should and privileged you should feel. But he doesn't stop there. There's a reason why we do these things. There's a reason why we study the scriptures. There's a reason why we know what the word of God says and why we should be willing to settle our hearts on these matters. Because as we continue to read here, look at verses, well, verse three is just, the heavens for, I shouldn't say the just, like it's nothing important. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of the king is unsearchable. Then he says this, Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. See, here's the point. Because the more we search those scriptures, the more we we, we study the word of God, the more we, by our honor, search out those things about God to understand what we believe and why we believe it. The more we search those things out, the more dross is taken away from us, the more the wickedness is removed from us as we stand before that King of Kings. What do you mean by the dross? Well, see, in the, finer, in the refiner's process, they literally put heat underneath it. They make it hard, for lack of a better term. They suffer. The silver, but it had motions be suffering. Why? Because they get it to a boiling point, and then all the impurities boil up to the top to be wiped away by the Lord, to be wiped away thrown off so that what's left is silver, a finer thing. See, are you allowing the sufferings, the trials, the hardships that you go through to be that that fire, to be that bringing the dross to the top of your life so you can remove it and actually stand before the Lord as an unwicked servant? Is that what you're doing in your life? Are you searching out the word and allowing the word of God to do those things, to penetrate your heart and to correct error in your life? Or are you going, you know what, I'm going to search the Word of God to prove my error is correct. Is that why you're searching the Word of God? And then you keep searching, and you keep searching, and you keep searching. And you run around in circles going, this must be truth, this must be truth. When He keeps revealing to you the truth. And you go, well, wait a minute here now. If that's the truth, then I'm wrong. Exactly. And if you're wrong, remove it from your life. Start believing the truth so that you can become finer in the eyes of the Lord and the wickedness can be removed and you can stand before the King in righteousness. So I hope this challenges you today. I know it challenges me. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.